Let me show you my countryside through these old headlights. We can take this road as far as you want to go. Hello, good people, and welcome back to another episode on saving Uncle's farm and reviving it. Um, my name is Paso, and this is my vlog. And I'm just looking at the field that germinated. Uh, I can already see we have some weeds in the field. And this is not good. So I may have to do something about it. Uh, preferably it would be something uh, that doesn't cost a lot of money. Now I know there are rakes like uh, thing that you drag across the field and they pull out the weeds because they get caught in the tines, but yeah, I have to check if there is anything available. And the grass we planted in the previous episode has also germinated. Uh, it's looking pretty sparse, uh, and so is the crop. I'm <laughs> When we had barley in the previous time, it actually was a lot thicker. So I'm not sure if this is good, it's okay, or it's uh, something bad. If we did, if I did something wrong, I'm not sure. Maybe that's just the way it is. The soybeans, I think we planted soybeans, yeah. Um, anyway, new day, a uh, new load of pallets to put on the trailer, and today we're gonna have a pretty big day. I have to move these two um, pieces of junk <laughs> mostly junk uh, because I am going to get the improvement quality of life improvement uh, I'm going to get that fuel tank for the farm because we uh, have to keep going to the gas station to refill our tractors and it's getting old and also, I have other things, uh, because the, the John Deere actually cut out on me twice when I was uh, sowing the grass up there. Uh, and I checked and it really needs a big service. That means uh, all the belts, all the oils, you know, uh, the big, <laughs> the big service. Uh, there's no two ways about it. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take it to the... I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, this should be good. Yeah, I'm gonna take it to the vehicle shop. And the service station next to the gas station, uh, they... I have already ordered a uh, big service. They have all the parts. Uh, and because we have a decent amount of money, I'm also going to take the... Land Rover to be properly serviced. It's still sitting in the barn and it's time uh, we remedy that by getting it fixed so I can start using it. It's been a year. I think we're we are here for almost a year, so yeah, it's time. It's time. Okay, um gonna load this up. And we'll see you at the vehicle shop. I mean, at the service station. Yeah, that's gonna be our next stop. Yeah, as you can see, I'm struggling really hard up this hill, and I'm not even that loaded. This tractor really, really, really needs a thorough service. If you don't experience it, it's hard to believe that such a big uh, power loss can be achieved, if I can say so, uh, by having old parts in your vehicle. Okay, so I'm going to first go here. I usually do it the other way around, but this time it's gonna be this way. And I'm gonna unload the stuff that goes here and I'm gonna take the rest to our um, dispenser machine we got paid 1422 pounds for our products veggies and eggs and the rest is going into our vending machine 
Yeah, sometimes I uh, lose a word like that and it... It takes a while till I get it back. <laughs> but once I do, I use it wisely. <laughs> okay, okay. And here we are. And after I'm done with this, I will go and park our uh, trailer somewhere here by the service station. Maybe I can put it in the parking lot right next to this uh, hut. And then I'm gonna take a vehicle transport trailer. Uh, the shop usually leases that for 100 pounds. But since I'm getting a tractor and a car serviced here, uh, they're giving it free of charge. And then I'm going to go to the farm, load up our uh, Land Rover, and I will try to bring that whole setup back to the service station because our tractor is quite low on power. And I, I hope, I sincerely hope, uh, I'll be able to get it here. If I get stuck somewhere on the way, i just gonna have to ask for help. And there's no two ways about it. Or maybe uncouple the trailer with the car on it and have somebody else tow it with a stronger tractor, with a better, better service tractor. But maybe if I put it into a low range, uh, I'll be able to get it here. Again, I'm not sure it's the first time I'm doing this. Okay, I need to line this up better. I can't be leaving my trailers like this on the parking lot. Okay, this looks good enough. And they said that the trailer is in the bay over here, and yeah, sure it is. Yeah, this should work perfect. Lee, perfect Lee, of course. Okay. Well, I'll be back when I reach the farm. Now, how to get this as nicely parked as possible, so it would preferably be somewhere over here. If the Land Rover is working as it has previously, we shouldn't have any problems taking it out of the sh uh, of the shed. But yeah, let me see how do I get the... Ah, look at this! 368, 368 we tow! <laughs> it's the license plate on this trailer. Uh, okay, that made me chuckle a bit. Um, yeah, of course, I need to put the the ramps down okay the ramps are down now to get the range rover land rover not range hello beautiful yeah this really is in a bad shape let me see if it moves still okay yeah it does so that trailer has a winch on it. If I have trouble moving the car on on its own power, I can help it. Let's see. Get it to the first gear. Now watch me drop it off the trailer like a madman. 
Okay, before I go up, I do want to see if I'm lined lined up well. And the answer is I'm not. Okay, I have to correct it a little bit more on the right side. This should be right about perfect. Let me go and check again. This wheel is good, the other is good. I can just scooch a little bit more to the left. Let's try putting it on its own power. Okay, doing something. Okay, I feel like I'm... I'm moving over too much. Okay, let me go out. Check. Oh no, it's actually perfect. But I will put it a little bit more to the front of the trailer. A little bit more. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't expect it to go on on its own power, so... Yeah, this is amazing. Now I hope the tractor will be able to tow it. Okay, the ramps are in! Let me just put a few straps over the tires, just to make it safe. And it looks like we're good to go. Alright, the deer doesn't seem to have any trouble moving, at least on the flat surface. Okay. I know I'm getting a bit emotional, but I I am tearing up right now because this is so awesome. The moment I saw this uh, Land Rover in the shed, I was so excited, and then it didn't work, and I had to wait for what a year or so before I could do anything about it because I didn't have the funds, you know, to do it. And now we're at a stage that I'm actually transporting the Range Rover, to, uh, the Land Rover, excuse me, to the repair shop, it's, yeah, I love it. I am being extra careful, because I, you know, <laughs> if I would drop it off the trailer right now, I don't know what I would do, that would be the end of my farming career, I suppose. It looks like it's sitting quite well on the trailer. And in the meantime, when I was going back to the farm, I had called a neighbor. Uh, he has a truck. And he's gonna help me transport that uh, fuel tanker I was talking about. Uh, from the other neighbor So yeah, I'm going to have a lift when I come to the vehicle repair shop because I'm gonna leave both The tractor and the car there to be serviced so That's gonna cost me a pretty penny, but At least I'm gonna have working vehicles and I can start looking at selling my um, My Jeep that I brought here with me. The only problem is that it's it has a left side steering wheel which is inappropriate for this region because it should have right side steering wheel like this Range Rover has. Land Rover. I don't know what I, what I keep calling it Range Rover. It's Land Rover. <laughs> Look at it sit there. Uh, yeah, so I might have to sell it back into Europe somewhere, into Central Europe or Mainland Europe, if I express myself like this. Alright, well...
Okay, it looks like the Land Rover is not as heavy as our tomatoes, lettuce and strawberries that we drag up here because the tractor didn't have any trouble pulling up the hill. Uh, of course, uh, amazing, but I did not expect that. Let's go in here. Okay, now I have to wait for someone to tell me what to do. Update time. The Land Rover is already on the lift. They're gonna take start taking a look at it. Uh, the John Deere is washed and is drying off, waiting for its turn. And the neighbor came with this truck. And we're gonna go to the other neighbor with this. So, yeah, awesome. And it's time to load it. So it has been washed out, rinsed out and everything. So it should be quite light. And the metal side skirt can go off. Uh, which we are going to absolutely do. Because it's going to be easier to lift. Uh, we are three guys. So we should be plenty capable of doing it. It shouldn't be more than around 80-90 kilos uh, altogether. When it's empty and stuff. So yeah, we'll put this on. This is a really nice truck though. Uh, 709, it's a Mercedes. Um, and it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's very, very old, but the sound it makes, it's uh, very intriguing. Okay, so we're gonna load this. I have agreed with uh, on a price of £1,000 for this. Um, I do think it's a bit much, but, you know, it's such a quality of life improvement that I'm gonna put 1000 pounds in it and I'm not gonna look back this is uh, basically what I'm <laughs> what the plan is uh, so yeah we'll load this and we'll start back for our farm are we ready to go this was quite a heavy job so I'm sweaty a bit but I do get to drive this truck and the funny thing is if you look at the dashboard you can see the green area and that's supposedly where the engine has the most power and the least consumption. So let me try and... <laughs> and keep that in mind while I'm driving. But look, listen at the sound. And don't worry, the money I'm gonna send to this neighbor uh, soon because we already done business and he said there's no problem if I do it later because we are <laughs> so busy loading up uh, that it slipped my mind but listen to this how cool is that Yeah, it's an old lady, so I have to be gentle with it. <laughs> Listen to it purr. And another big job done. The tanker is here at our farm. I have pushed that uh, metal stuff over there, so we have plenty of space. And yeah, it's here. It's here. Now we just need to fill it up. So I'm gonna probably order delivery of fuel because I don't really have any appropriate gear to transport uh, flammables and I think you need to have an ADR training or license or something like that. So I don't have that but yeah this is gonna be awesome. And if I go here you can here the pump is already working I have connected all the uh, wires and what not and yeah, so um, the neighbor's gonna go away. Um, I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna take the Massey Ferguson to transport milk to the dairy. And 
we'll see you in between and after that. Okay, 1,000 pounds sent to the farmer. Now let me get this tractor out and let's put the weight off right here. I don't think I'm gonna use any of this right now, so it's safe to sit here. It's well out of the way. Let's make sure our front loader is as road friendly as possible. And let's get the tanker. Yeah, in the, in the meantime, while I transport this milk, I am going to check uh, at the vehicle store if they have anything anything good for weed removal. Something that would be maybe as organic as possible. That would also be a plus. But yeah, I really, really do want to get rid of this and maybe stay as, uh, as I said, as organic as possible because I want to raise my um, my price rating because uh, the more organic your production is the higher you can put your prices on your products and they are also healthier of course healthier which is always a bonus okay load number one we don't have enough for two full loads uh, but we should get a pretty decent price. So yeah, 2100 or 2200 around there. This was the first load. And now for the second load. So I was on the line with the vehicle shop in between oh, on the drive and... Okay, so around 1000 pounds for this load of milk. Uh, anyway... They said that they do have weeders, but the smallest uh, requires 60 horsepower, which I don't have. Well, the tractor, my John Deere is going to be at the store for some time. Oh, look. That is a similar truck I used to get the fuel tank to my farm. Anyway, uh, the, yeah, the John Deere is going to be in service for at least one more day. Um, because it needs to cool down before they can start work on it and it's already 12 uh, even past 12 so it's gonna take some time and there's nothing I can do about it I could call okay that's some crazy deer so if you didn't know deer sometimes gets confused by lights and it's uh, way safer to honk your horn uh, because they usually run away from the sound and the lights just uh, confuse them and they run straight into the lights this is not relevant at the moment because we're in the middle of the day and i don't have my lights on but you know just just uh, a little tiny bit of uh, useful driving information so where was I? Yeah, I could uh, talk with one of the farmers to lend me a tractor, but I'm not going to do that. I might simply spray the weeds later on. And if that is the case, well, I'm not going to get as big of a bonus uh, in pricing, you know, because I wouldn't be as ecological as I could possibly be. Uh, but in this stage, at this time, I'm not really in a position to have choices like this. You know, I still have to think about survival. I have to think about, uh, you know, getting equipment. I don't have a fertilizer spreader. I still don't have a uh, sprayer. I still don't have a uh, manure spreader. I don't have a slurry spreader. But yeah, that's... Uh, this is still... Uh, quite a lot of equipment that I need to get in order to be fully self-sufficient. You know, we are barely self-sufficient, but yeah, there's still a long way to go. 
and I was thinking of recording this vlog until I have all the equipment I need on the farm and then I can say I have successfully revived my uncle's farm. We are still in the process. I think we are quite on a good way to do our to get to the goal, but we are still still a long way until we are there. And with this, I would like to thank you for... No, actually no. There's another thing I wanted to do today. Let me first park this tanker back into the shed. And then we'll do the thing. Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> actually, it's not mysterious because I was uh, thinking about it for some time now. I was even talking about it for some time now. And now I actually have the... actually have the means to do it okay I'll leave the tractor here so yeah let me sit right here it's comfortable where I have a good view of my cows and calves they're already four months old, so yeah, another eight months and they'll be ready to be sold. I think it's the, the selling window is from 12 months to 16 months for calves. Uh, they're not calves anymore at that age, but yeah. So the thing I wanted to do is pay off the lease on this tractor. So... Let's go here, purchase. We have outstanding balance of 9,867 pounds. Do you want to purchase? Yes. Let me send the money to the leasing company. And with this, my dear viewers, we are a proud owner and full owner of the John Deere. This is amazing. And we still have 23,000 pounds left. In our bank account now with this i would like to thank you for watching i hope you had fun we had many new things in this episode a lot of stuff happening and i will see you in the next one have fun take care and bye bye